Hi everybody, hope you're well. Today I'm going to be talking about rookie competitions. So if you have never heard of rookie competitions before, basically they're uh, competitions used for beginning, beginner horses as they're called. So I'm going to show you what I mean by this. So I've got one of my fillers here and I'm going to click on trot. So these are the rookie competitions. They've got a, like a horse head inside a circle and they're reserved for beginner horses. Now, the thing is, right, the amount of skills a horse has changes, which dictates whether or not you can enter these competitions. So the, the way you find that out is you basically go into the community and the game help, and into the breeder's manual, and into number three here for prepare your horse for competitions. And then you go click competitions, and at the very bottom here, it said competitions for rookie horses. So certain competitions are only open to rookie horses. Rookie horses are horses that have won less than 20 victories, okay? And that's 21st places. Anything else is not a win. So second, third, fourth, fifth, that doesn't count. Um, and they're who have no skills above 240. So this number is recalculated every night. Basically what that means is based on the, um, the best skills of the game, so... Whichever horses right now have the best skills in certain things, it's based off that. So as that goes up, that number will rise from 240. Um, if there's no change, then probably not change, and it'll you know it could be a while between it changing and whatnot. Rookie competitions basically give you a chance to go into competitions that aren't filled with skillers and things like that because skillers have quite obviously have had high skills and they'll not be able to go into those rookie competitions so they're a great way to make use of them especially if you're maybe doing a blop you might want to you really need to take in consideration basically um what skills and how much to train them and also bear in mind that as you enter competitions with your blop your skills on the horse will increase so I'm just going to try and see if I can find one and maybe just show you what I mean by this in case you're unfamiliar with it. So I'm going to go for one that I'm pretty sure I haven't used before. So this will do. Okay. So as you can see, this horse here is no, it doesn't have 240 in any of these skills. Now bear in mind, as I said before, it's based on the skills of the top horses. But if it'll be 240, it might be 500 on another server. So check on your individual server. So this horse hasn't got any tags, so I'll quickly equip it and buy it some tack. Okay, now if I click on trot, okay, and if I look at my trot skills right now, I've got 0 0.81 for trot, speed is 14.30, and dressage is 34.49, so if I click on participate, and I look down the side here, as you can see, I've got plus, well, 0, point plus, 0 0.22 plus to trot. A speed is also increasing dressage. So that's one thing you need to bear in mind. Obviously, um, this is quite a low um, GP horse here. This is a foundation, so the skills will be less. So if you're training something that maybe had 800 genetic points, um, the amount of skills it would gain would be higher. So you need to bear that in mind. So don't train your horse too close to that limit with the rookie competitions because you want to maybe be able to go into more than 20 rookie competitions um, to try and get those wins. Um, I don't think there's anything else I really need to cover in this. So just bear in mind to try and keep um, the training of the skills well below the max rookie comp skill limit so you have room there um, for the skill gains earned from doing those competitions. So I hope that helped, guys. Um, hope you had a lovely day. Bye-bye.